So it was a bad connection. Should have came on, but oh, let me see. Maybe if the door shut. Well, we I realized when I tested out the lights and I thought they worked that I had the door open. So now when I close the door, they don't work. All right. All right. Hopefully you can hear me pretty clearly. I'm using headphones for the first time. Uh, well, these type of earbuds, I guess you want to call them. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be a video of how I install my rock lights. I got them to match the same color as the truck. Um, one thing you might want to know before is I don't think uh, blue and red lights are illegal. Um, just, you know, if you're a lawyer or a police officer, you can let me know. But uh, so, I, you know, this is just for when I'm approaching the truck, when I'm cutting it on, uh, coming to it, you know, I can see uh, I don't drive with them on just for looks while I'm parked. Um, if you want a video of how I installed uh, this light right here around the fog lights and then the sequential turn signal light right up under the main lights, just let me know. Um, I can do another video. Maybe I'll put up uh, what I did was um, I put up a post saying that I would if I got 10 likes, I would uh, or what was it? 10 likes, 20 comments. I would uh, do a video on how I installed the rock lights. So these um, they, these are uh, sold by Amazon. And I, I'm going to start here. Just do a quick little walk around. Um, they came with um, six inch. Uh, well, the, the blue wire was hot. Black was um, neutral uh, ground, and um, they were probably six inches a piece. So they're they're probably se separated. There's one here and one here. Um, I did pre-drill. Now some trucks um, like Chevys. Um, I'm not sure about Fords, but uh, this is a Tacoma, of course. But they have like felt. So uh, and then some of the the metal for the truck actually sits a little lower. So you might have to get some self-tapping screws. Uh, you know, it's, you just got to know your truck. But this is hard plastic right here. Uh, I installed these actually uh, on my own truck. But, all right, so this this wire right here is actually the last light I installed. I'm, I might uh, leave it there. I might see where I can install it. Um, I didn't put any loom. Uh, I didn't put it in any loom. Uh, and also, sometimes this is... For some trucks, this is hard to remove. This kind of actually goes way deep down in here and they have those little clips. I didn't want to break them. Uh, then have to hear it flop, uh, flap until I, I got some pins. So what I did was I just hooked it. Uh, it's a, another screw or something like that right here. This is kind of, it's not really that easy to, to remove. But since I installed these, I, I was able to just, I had this wire. I just have it showing right now, but um, I can run it, take these screws off. I can just push it in there. I have quick connects. If you don't know what a quick connect is, I have it here. Let's see, I have it here and two here. Uh, a quick connect, I just, well, I don't know what you want to call them. Quick connect, push connect, whatever. Uh, these right here, just showing you what they look like. Some people use them, some people don't. Some people use butt connects. I use uh, both they, these and butt connects. Uh, but you can see right up here, just it's just quicker process. Some people solder. I know some people are probably uh, talking about my zip ties. I cut them off at the end. Uh, let me see. So let me go back to. So uh, they're self tapped. Gotta clean them off. Getting a little dirty up under here. And the other ones right over here. So they're about a foot apart. And like I say, you just run the wires up under here. And um, so. I have them connected to a red well i think this is red and brown and they run through here Let me see my finger it's hard to video and do this run uh, up under the uh, in between the mud flap and they go up under the truck now you, you might have some places where you're able to zip tie um and some of the places some trucks are a little different some places you know especially over the truck um it's going to be a, the I guess you could say some of the components are gonna be a little bit farther spread apart. You may be able to zip tie on a chassis. So, you know, just be prepared, prepared excuse me, to use um, multiple zip ties or just get the big ones. And I ran it through here, as you can see, still no looming. Um, I can do that at the end. It's not that hard, just gotta crawl on the ground and then run it right up through here. So, like I said, the, the, once I ran the wire from over here, I didn't, cut it anymore i just spliced onto it with those little quick connects 
And again, this is ran. You see it, but they all run up under here. Uh, it's uh, somewhere, it's another light. Oh, there it goes, right there. And then it runs to the back of the truck. I had one in the back of the truck. Get the video later on. But it's right in the middle, right around here in the shine. Well, my foot right around here. Keep running the, the zip tie. Oh, keep running the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the wire. Again, it's red and brown. Run it up through here. Come all the way around again. Quick connects. And it's all, well, this is hanging a little bit. Just get that. I don't know why it's not a, it should be in the nail right here, but pushing it up in there. Like I said, I tried to get, leave a little slack on, you know, the vibration of the truck. I don't want it to pull on the wires too, too much. And it comes down through here. And you see my zip ties. I know people have a pet peeve about zip ties. I'm gonna pull it and get that out the way. Um, you can use these. I did use some of these and just uh, shrink wrap it, however you wanna say. Run it up through here. I'm glad I'm doing this video. I can see where some of the wires are a little too much slack right here. Um, and then when you get here, like I said, that's that wire for the front. I put it on the uh, skid plate. You can see there's a skid plate right there. But I ran it. Uh, once I quick connect a couple wires here, so you got the wire going this way, got the wire here on the other light, and then you got one going there, one going there, so I went back red and black, so that black is what the brown was. Run it up through here, and I will put loom on this today since it's in the engine bay. Ran it right across here, all around a lot of my other wires, and with some of the OEM wire was ran. Coming back it up, back up. And so, for the ones that don't know, this is it has a 30 and uh, it was a 30 slash 40 amp um, relay. And uh, the relay came from Amazon, it was. Um, sold from a Chinese uh, provider um, store, however you want to say it. And um, so I, nothing's tapped into my six panel relay. Um, I mean, six panel fuse, but not these wires. I don't know if you can see rainbow color looking wires, but this is a five pin connector, but the, the wires are not traditional colors uh, that you would probably find in more of a, um, I want to say American uh, relay, but they're, they're not the same colors and the, the numbers don't match up with some of the colors that are the same color so you just got to know your numbers this is you know it has a 30 87 87 a uh 86 and 85 now the 85 and 87 which are on this side they don't even it didn't even really match up with the wires and the numbers it's, it's, it's a, it was a little funky but you have the 87 85 put them together you have the uh, let me see, 86 and, let me tell you right, I don't want to tell you wrong, 87, I think it's, yeah, 87, 85 are together, 86, let me, I'm trying to think on top of my head, I think it's 87A, which is in the middle, and 30 are together, 86 is the ground to the switch. So again, this is this uh, these lights, these rocket lights are working off of uh, the key fob, the ignition switch, the door, and a push button uh, switch. Um, and I'm gonna probably put up a an, that, that reminded me. For some reason I can't get these to stay on either side. Um, that reminded me. I also put a. Um, sequential turn signal and daytime running light bar right here if you want to I'm gonna put a picture up if you want to see those um, I'll see how that's installed I'll walk through uh, I can do that uh, and if you want me to actually do the install while I do the video I can do that I'm just it just takes me longer but I feel like I can do a pretty good job of walking you through so like I said um, the rocket lights take a five panel um, fuse I mean five panel relay if you want to do it and so going into the cab, what I decided to do, I was, I liked these switches at first, but then they started just seeming a little too big and bulky. So I went back with a more of an OEM style look. 
Now, these also came from Amazon, so it was almost, I don't even know what you want to call it. I might as well call it Alibaba, but so much, so many things sold for Am uh, from, from China. Um, these colors didn't match up to how they typically would if you bought it from like American or European or Canada, whatever, um, United States or Canada. I know Canada's America, but they, the, these wires didn't match up. There's four wires. Um, the top one, which was blue, um, and typically it's either going to be green or like a red. And then, but it was blue. So this blue wire went up to um, this A pillar and it connected. My wire was blue. You got to find out what your wire is. So the door works opposite. So when the door is open, the lights on, the door is shut. Um, so it's like a reverse. It's, somewhat hard to explain so like i say these it, the door the lights the rock lights work off this map light this is called the map this is your dome light just in case you don't know um so they work off both of them really but um when, you, when i push it, it turns blue it's hard to see but that's blue so it's a green that green is what that eight that 86 goes to that fuse i mean the relay uh goes through the firewall comes in here it's a neutral um, and I think if I'm not mistaken, everything running here is neutral. Um, besides, I'm running back through the cab is neutral. Besides, maybe um, the red wire, that one red wire is coming up. Is and so the red wire for the lights connects to the uh, A pillar, the blue here, or the hot, the 12 volt, and uh, so all three of them connect together. That's how. So the door overrides the switch. So when you're driving, the door is closed. You can actually hit the switch. Um, and there's a timer set by the factory. You know, some of these new trucks, the lights are cut off so you don't kill the battery. So even if you leave this on, if you're in a well-lit place and you leave this on, um, after uh, so many minutes, it'll cut off anyway. But, you, you know, I wouldn't advise riding down the street with blue or red, like I said before. I'm, um, you know, just know your laws. And uh, I do have a light here, like I said before, and I don't, uh, I'm probably not going to ride with that on. It's just too bright. That makes sense um let me see uh what else can i say oh so you have a uh, ground i just grounded it a uh, ground wire black which is the only one that actually made sense uh the ground went um to a bolt the ground to the body of the truck the yellow the yellow would be where this stays lit the whole time you will probably if you wanted to hook it up i didn't uh, if you want to hook it up you put it you find one of these lights or it's like a tire sensor right here where it works off the ignition and so basically when the ignition's on, uh, both top and bottom will be blue. The ignition's off, it goes out. But I just wanted it to be, you know, if I had them on, I knew it because it just this would be blue. So it's however you want to wire it. So if you, you know, I don't know if you could tell. Uh, these are the same way. This is only blue when it's on. Same thing. I don't know if you can tell. Let's see the back light. It's only blue when it's on. All right. But like I say, so I wouldn't have to do, I don't know how other people do it. Some people do like the butt connects. But uh, what happens when you do the butt connects uh, with these, not these type of quick connects I did. You, you're going to have to find a butt connect that um, two wires come in like this way. Coming through, the, I don't know if you know what a butt connect is. But it comes in through this way, there'd be two wires. And uh, then the other wire here, which on um, this side coming in i don't know if you see, see my thumb okay uh coming in this way to the butt connect um it may be too small because like i say the you know you're doubling up you have two wires here meeting one uh and so you know one side maybe it's just like i say some that's why some people solder but how you know however you get it and just tape it up heat shrink it um you know so that's how i did it Ran it all the way around so it works off. It's hard to see, but I'll do a nighttime video of how I did it. And also, before I go, um, messing with the, let me get that back on. But messing with this A pillar, what you want to do, you want to disconnect the negative side of the battery. Some people do both negative and positive, but disconnect the negative and you should be okay before you go pulling on this. Um, I also want to do paint these. Like I did the rest of the truck. Um, 
but again i had to disconnect the negative wire so i can unscrew these because i don't want the um the bag to shoot out the airbag but yeah disconnect the the negative side to get into the uh to get into the a pillar um let me see what else i don't want to miss anything that might be that might be it oh oh another thing uh when you mess with these wires i did it twice where they touched um because you have two wires i might only miss one but it's a blue and a yellow in my truck uh some people is white and red or something like that but um that's how the, the lights cut on cut off uh that's the not negative and positive of the uh the map light <clears throat> excuse me the map lights and so if they touch you will blow a fuse i blew two fuses uh trying to work on this with the fuse in so take the fuse out disconnect the battery or just take the fuse out when you get to that part however you want to do it all right so my phone accidentally cut well it didn't actually cut off it went dead but like i said for tomorrow uh i'm gonna come up through here put the movement on make it look a little better uh let me see and uh like i say it'll take a five pin connector i had to uh get this this is like an open end uh piece or you can get a closed end that goes through the boat this is a ne uh, negative ground for the the body of the truck um what else did i have to get so a relay about one two well i got a switch and what one two two um oh i gotta count the rock lights two uh three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 13, 13 to 14 quick connects uh, also, or you can get butt connects, however you want to do it. But I tried to not cut that many, uh, I tried not to cut the wires. Um, and then I just wrapped them in um, electrical tape. So like I say, if you do butt connects, uh, you got to get the, um, can't remember the, the exact terminology, but you get the pieces that go over it that you have to heat up. Um, it slips in my mind, but someone I could put it in the comments below. Uh, but you know, you do that, you still wrap it in electrical tape, you use a lighter, heat it up, or whatever your method is. Um, you can solder some people solder uh, instead of butt connect, and then still cover it with the um, I, f I can't even, it won't even come to my mind, but uh, I guess it's like a shrink wrap, uh, a rubber shrink, uh, rubber wrap, or whatever you want to call it. And for the one, and this is a some relays make a little di may look a little different. So this is almost like a three part. So it's a cheap relay. Um, you know, you might want to stay away from the bottom price. I learned my lesson. It was two for like five dollars, uh, four ninety nine, something like that. Um, but this is the relay right here, thirty to forty amp. And then it's uh, another section here, and then the wires that snap into like metal here i don't even know how they crimped i guess they crimped it and pushed it in but they didn't crimp it that well and this this right here is for like um i can't remember this for my ditch lights or not but uh that's a four pin but like i say for this project you're gonna need a five pin i didn't tap into my six panel relay so i still have uh one i think i still have two more sections i can tap into right here and that's that's basically it all right so as you can see i got them working properly now uh the first video uh they were they were off well not when i say off as you see in the intro um they were connected with the uh runner or the uh what you call that the running board uh, light. Let me see. I gotta lock it. Now unlock it. Um, so I had the running board on this side. It's actually working now. Uh, but like I say, if you want to see a video of that, just let me know, and I can do a video of the running board and the lights in the front. I put up a picture like I did last time. All right, let me show you the back. All right, it's illuminated there. 
Oh yeah, if you, you saw I didn't have a running board uh, light on the other side, but that's fine. I, I have to install it. But just wanted to see you, uh, show you um, complete, uh, it completed. I don't know why this one is somewhat dim. Maybe I have to move it. it looks it looks bright underneath. I wanted it to kind of shine towards me, but it may be fine. Let me look one more time. Sorry for the glare. Yeah, I think it's shining under the car, which I guess is not that bad. Under the truck, I should say. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna cut off the garage light. It's causing a reflection and light. Trying to trip over all this mess in here. Okay, so if the door is not, if it's not locked, uh, they won't come on. All right, so go to the lock and unlock it. So it comes, it works with the map light. So the map light in the truck is on. Now you see them on, so you can see more of the shine and the glow all the way around. So I guess that light in the front is not too, too bad. Yeah. Thank y'all for staying, uh, you know, staying tuned. And um, let me go back and take the light back on so I can show you. All right, so what I do next, if you want to know, um, I can show you how I installed. They came, I installed them different times, but I do show you the walkthrough at the same time. These lights around the fog lights and then the um, turn signal lights. So the running board and those two lights I just showed you uh, right here uh, work as daytime running lights with a uh, white light and an orange light. And the, uh, like I said, the running board does the same thing. I was thinking oh, that wasn't me, it just, uh, sometimes I guess it does it program the lock on its own if it sits long enough. Um, I was thinking about doing sequential turn signals right here. I don't have them. And also doing like uh, what they call them uh, pod lights uh, also, but we'll see. Let's see. All right, so stay tuned. I'll probably put up a video, uh, pictures on Instagram of uh these two asking for the same thing 10 likes 10 uh 10 or 20 comments uh if you want to see how those were installed and see how once i get it finished how the running board lights were installed too all right till next time peace out